Exposure listens. <laughs> yeah. Just to get to know people and like everyone around us. Um, how was your childhood like growing up in school and how do you think that affected you as a girl now? Um, well, I think because obviously I had a sister, so um, I was surrounded by girls most of my childhood mm. and I was always very like cute and like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a lot of like girlfriends in school? Do you have a lot of like yeah yeah I definitely in the girl group? Um, gravitated more towards girlfriends when I was in like primary school. I mean, mine's pretty the same. Like I have an older sister, so I kind of like um. Sorry, this is a close close to being around <laughs> women. Um, and I'm very close to my mom. Um. And like I never really had any boyfriends in primary school. Like they were just like gross and scary. Yeah, <laughs> we had <laughs> Um, and I just yeah, just, I didn't have any brothers or anything. And like in my family, there's only, only one boy cousin. Everyone's women. Really? Cool. Yeah. So like the only men in my life were really like my one boy cousin, my dad, my mm. granddad, and my uncle. And then everyone else was women. Like I had like yeah, two I aunties, that. like, and they all have like daughters. So it's like, yeah, it was. Like when I have a family like gatherings, like yeah. everyone's talking, it was very like, oh, so um, I don't know, like everyone had something to say, like no one felt uncomfortable. And then secondary, I did kind of stick to a girl friendship, like friendship group, but then like some of my friends had boyfriends and then like you mix with the boys mm -hmm. and stuff. That's true. But like still then, I never really liked guys, like, I thought they were really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I never got really close with guy friends, like I have one really close guy friend now but um we don't really see each other anymore so it's like oh well we do but it's like we have different we have different schools so it's like We've got yeah, different yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. i feel like that too now because when um because obviously our school is very like women dominated i feel oh like my god yeah like like two-thirds women maybe yeah. and i feel like i don't have um apart from <laughs> the camera yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um i don't have really like close male friends at the school um, mm. apart from like the ones that in my old school that I still talk to yeah mm. I kind of like wish I had more guy friends but then it's like I from my experience like whenever I've tried to be friends with a guy they've just kind of boys well, I, think, oh, okay. I think I think a lot of the time difficult. guys can have the wrong impression I'm sorry so yeah. you know, she's also and a girl I'm just <laughs> a very outgoing person like I'm so people can take that the wrong way like, yeah I, I'm very confident when I speak so people think it's because I'm like interested in them, but I'm just interested You're about the topic. Like, <laughs> do you know yeah. what I mean? In primary school, I didn't have that much of our friends, but like I was kind of more like I kind of like went from group to group. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes I'd be in the ball court, but then I'd be playing like in the playground with the girls who do cooking. In, I don't know why they do cooking in the grass, but that's how it was. Oh, I um, love that. But yeah. yeah, so primary school was interesting. A lot of the guys weren't nice. They were, really? <laughs> they were very rude. I feel oh. like most of it because like I was like one of the only black girls at my mm. school. Mm. So it was like they were very like mm. rude about that. Like yeah, they yeah, would yeah. like ignore you and stuff like that. Really? So yeah, it was. I mean, it was it was interesting experience. I mean, at home I have an older brother and a dad, so it was like. I'm used to being around men because when I would play with my older brother, it's more like we would like do things that stereotypically like you know boys would play. Mm -hmm, yeah. But like I don't know because I have both the older brother and older sisters like a mixture of both. Yeah. So yeah, that was interesting. And then secondary school, I went to a girls' school, which was really strange because like it was like a boarding school, guys. <laughs> it was actually they would tell us. Did you wear little hats? No, we didn't wear little oh. hats. But like it was really strict to the point like if you had your socks above your knees, like. You wouldn't be allowed to get attention for that. Socks above yeah, your knees. I would have thought it was skirt. Yeah, and like, 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 yeah. like if, even if you like folded your skirt to like make it, yeah. I would totally like unfold it. Oh, or stop yeah. you, like, like, pull your yeah. skirt down right now. It's like it's really scary yeah. though. Um, but yeah, we weren't allowed makeup, piercings, earrings, nail varnish, rings. Um, it was it was a wonderful experience because <laughs> the people there were really nice. The way that it was like formed was a bit strange, but like everyone there was like really yeah. nice. Yeah. When was it? What? When was it weird? It was weird because it just felt very controlling. Like, 
it felt because mm. like opposite us there was a mixed school as well and it's like the difference between oh that God, yeah. it was it was really weird yeah. because of the way our school they would literally like wait for us at the bus stops teachers would stand at the bus stops for us to get on wow. the bus yeah. and so it was really weird in the morning and after school we weren't allowed to go to any of the shops it's like we had to go really? they would watch us go straight home yeah. and if you did go to the shops like they would like report it so it was it was like very like limited you literally couldn't do anything to even socialize with the other school as well oh my God, so that's it's that amazing. yeah it, it was really weird but I feel like that's one of the reasons why now I just don't. I only associate with, like women mostly. I, you know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. you've kind of I've been kind of been like to, trained yeah. to, to do that. So yeah. that's kind of one of the issues with girls' schools. That's not yeah. really the best. I mean, you know, guys. Yeah. You, yeah. I'd like to see the difference between all boys' schools. Yeah. 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 I did actually want. I had to go pick up um, my friend. She went to pick up another friend at. So, oh, I can't say the name. But um, <laughs> at a boys' school. And so we was waiting for this guy to come out and like, it's like the, the boys have never seen a woman in their life. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, like, oh my God, there's girls here, guys. Yeah. Oh, my oh my God, can you give me a number? Uh, oh my God, like, where, where are you from? Uh, it's, it's, it's really weird because you're going to have to like interact with them exactly, yeah, in yeah. the future. So why yeah. are you going to stop that at a time where it's How probably best? How does that feel for you? Like yeah. now? I don't, guys, I'm kind of scared of men. <laughs> I don't know, like, because I, I don't have any male friends, like, you know, I don't know, what, what the hell would I talk about with a man? No offence, like, but they're, like, really easy. <laughs> like, <laughs> boys are they're really easy to talk to, like, yeah, mm -hmm. to generalise, they're a lot easier so, to talk to. Yeah. When it comes to girls, they're a bit more complicated, or more, like, I, I think having female friendships is really nice, because you can go, like, um, really, like, deep into deep, stuff, yeah. but when, yeah. when it comes to guys, I feel like it's, um, more relaxed and a little bit more like yeah, surface level. level for a lot of the time mm -hmm. yeah so um but it is a bit scary because it's really different talking to a boy than talking to a girl yeah i mean from oh. like my friend wait i shouldn't say name um, <laughs> but she has like all guy friends and like she's only started become like friends with girls like recently and she's so different compared to my girlfriends like she's just so much more like laid back and it like, I don't know, I don't like it because I'm like, I like to plan things. Like, if we're gonna go somewhere, like, I like to like sort it out. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna get ready, like, I wanna know if it's worth it or not. Yeah, structure's probably like, that's your thing there. Especially with girls. But that's probably just me. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like it's different with everyone, isn't it? So, I went to a mixed primary school. Um, <laughs> very good. It's gone downhill since, but it's okay. I went with a twin sister, but we were in different classes. So, we were always kind of separated. She had all of her friends were girls, but I was sort of opposite, um, where I only really started to be friends with girls in year five. I had one I had one girlfriend in year five. Um, and then apart from that, um, <laughs> big up cameraman, um, I had, <laughs> um, my best friend was a boy, so it was like a, quite a How different that? experience. experience? <laughs> well, I feel like I always fit in better with the boys, but not in like, not in a way to downgrade the girls. I think I just, maybe the way that I acted was was a bit more, um, I don't know, like the interests I had, like I was really into football. Um, and obviously like all the guys in my class were also really into football, so you talk about that. Um, I've always really liked sport and all the guys in my class, like a lot of them were sporty, but also, can I say your name? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me and Yeffy had a similar like um, imagination, I think, when we were mm. kids. Aww. And so we kind of like built worlds together in our head That's and we'd like um, so have little perfect. stories that we like made up. And I feel like I'm someone who's a bit more introverted. So I like having like, a little group. And so me and Yeffy, we kind of hung out and he was my best mate. I felt quite separate from the girls because they'd already made their friends and I had already established my friendship with Nyaki, so I was quite separate. And then year six, um, kind of branched out a little bit more and I had, um, you know, my friend who was a girl and she was lovely. Um, but going into year seven was really scary because I thought, mm. I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to be friends with these boys because it's different, like, mm. like I'm going through puberty now and it's really freaky and weird, so like, um, I was a bit worried about that and so then I started becoming friends with like um, girls and I had like a little girl group in secondary school 
Um, which was good and bad. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, I maintained friendship with Nyaki and I think the, my closest friend is a guy, so it's quite different. Do you think that experience differs if I was a girl? If you were a girl, I don't know if I'd be your friend. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I really yeah. think it matters. Do you think, 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 think it there was, was something different? I mean, maybe you guys... Well, I think, I think being friends with girls now, like, mm. having you guys as friends, mm. is so new to me like it really is like it feels different like i've never had even with the girls at my secondary school and i have to talk to you a bit about this yeah. i still didn't really feel like i had a friendship group it was only now going to college where i felt like i had like a girl friendship group and so yeah. it's really different yeah but i don't think it matters so happy to have you. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah i mean that's interesting because like I've had friendships groups, but they've kind of always gone a bit wrong. Yeah. yeah. But this is like my first friendship group with the women where it's like, oh, it's yeah, just, it's I just feel funny. so like at peace, like to mm -hmm. see you guys, like yeah. I don't feel stressed about what you're thinking about me or what you're no, saying about me. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I actually feel like well, I, I can come to you <laughs> and like, yeah. she I can relax like, yeah. and be like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay oh, then, oh, okay. <laughs> let's get it out on the table. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's really refreshing. Because you always think that at first, but like mm, this time, like I know that you guys are yeah. so lovely. I think everyone's relaxed and it's yeah. like, it's a, that we all have friendships where it's like, we, do, we can do our own thing, but we yeah. also, we always go back and yeah. have a little chat with yeah. each other. It's, I don't think it's, I, I think what can happen with girls is, um, when it comes to friendships, they can be quite controlling sometimes. Mm, yeah. yeah. Or like, you have to be friends with me. You yeah, can't yeah. expand. Mm -hmm. Whereas I feel like all of us kind of see each other, we say hello, we hang out. If you're going off to do something, you go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we all so have yeah. friends outside of our friendship. Group. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like that's really nice because yeah. it also is exciting going back together. And like, yeah, and like yeah. you get like different. Yeah. yeah. We've always got stories to tell each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. No, it's nice though because you can't like always spend your time with the same people 24 mm -hmm. 7 you know what i mean like and i feel like in secondary school being in the girls school everyone was like everyone was friends so mm -hmm. like you would be around the same people every day mm -hmm. you didn't really have anything new to talk about and then mm -hmm. you know that led to a lot of gossip guys yeah, that was a lot of really gossip it. It nothing else to yeah about. you had nothing else to yeah. do nothing else to talk about but that was the vibe oh, but guess, now it's, yeah. so, it's like so chill like there's no like pressure to be like why are you talking to that girl <laughs> But um, I will say there, yeah. there is I think that's people. Just age thing. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, that's true. Mm. But I still think it happens here. Like yeah, you, yeah, if you if you're walking around college, you can tell, you can tell who maybe hasn't grown out of that, mm. or like the type the kind of yeah, the, 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 no, no, <laughs> the groups of people that are still very um like. They don't look happy to be around each other. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's something that I've mm. noticed. It's like they're not happy to. Be with each other but they're almost uh they've decided they have to because they look cooler as a group or they're like, like, yes, or like a vibe they have yeah. to maintain yeah and i feel like that's what creates yeah. kind of like a toxic friendship mm -hmm. or something that's just not yeah. gonna work friendships mm -hmm. without substance mm -hmm. yeah because i feel like we've all got things in common with each other and we all kind of care about our fashion and our music mm -hmm. we're all oh very my like god yeah it's like we're all different in like in that way. But like, yeah, we love yeah, our yeah. yeah. contrast a lot. We do, yeah. And one of the things but, I love about yeah. it um, is like when like you guys come in a cute outfit and everyone's like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And even though like I don't have the same style as you guys, I'll still ask you guys opinions. Like mm. in your school, it was so controlling. But then you, yeah. you go to our college, which is mm. really open and like even six forms aren't like the way we oh, are yeah, like yeah. you know you can wear your own uniform and everyone is very everyone's got their own thing like yeah. you walk around everyone has I their own it. thing yeah, yeah i think that's yeah. i think it's yeah. really important otherwise you're just like hiding behind a uniform mm -hmm. or something because yeah. I, I actually wasn't gonna go to this college really yeah i was gonna stay at my old school oh but my, my old school six form is also all girls so i was like mm. no thank you yeah. <laughs> no and so i was like you know what the vibe here is really nice like mm -hmm. i like because like when we came for like, what was it? Was it open day? I don't know what yeah. it's called. But um, everyone was, seemed so like different. And I was like, I love this. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah. And I also think it's like, our school replicates what it's going to be like in real life. Mm -hmm. It's not It's not contained or like one gender or, or whatever. It's This is what the world's going to be like. There are going to be people you don't like. Everyone's going to be wearing something different. Everyone's going to be a yeah. different person. Um, but you've got to learn to like live together. Should we talk about the word tomboy? 
Like, oh how, yeah, and the whole. How do you feel about that word? Yeah. I feel like it's always been like a negative term in primary school and stuff. It would be like, uh, like girls would use it to other girls to be like, oh, you don't fit in with us. It'd be like a girl should always be like, like all like the girly girl, you know. Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. super, super feminine, and like mm. if you want to play with like a car and stuff like that then like you're not a part of that you know what i mean so it kind of yeah. like it kind of like excludes people because we were talking about this before like mm -hmm. even like with fashion now a lot of people are kind of moving away from that whole like super feminine kind of like yeah. way of dressing and kind of going more into that like kind of unisex kind of yeah you know style so it's kind of it's becoming more accepted but like mm -hmm. i still feel i think that it has like a negative yeah part. Mm -hmm. I think in my primary school, when because I feel like that's like the time when most people use that word. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There was like, I remember a time where I think it was like year two, year three, sort of, where people, um, where the girls in my school started to think that it was like cool, like to be a tomboy, and they started saying like, oh, my favorite color is blue, <laughs> and like, and I remember I have a very yeah. distinct memory of um a friend coming over to my house. And me saying, oh, I don't want to use the pink. Pink is too girly. And my sister's yeah. like, what? Pink, pink is your favourite colour. Yeah. And I was like, no. <laughs> pink is so girly. Yeah. And like, it was just like, girly was like derogatory at that time. It was cool to be a tomboy. And then I didn't, after that, it sort of like blurred. I feel very similar to you. Um, and also like, my mum's like an 80s feminist. She's like thinks being tomboy is like the best thing in the world yeah. um, and she like, she's like oh my geese bird and I'm like I like to my sister I'm like oh she's gonna pick me again like, <laughs> <I'm> thinking, <laughs> because it's like you can like it doesn't mean that being a tomboy is the best it doesn't mean girly girls mm. being the best like you can do whatever you want growing up like my mum very encouraged me my sister to do sports like my dad loves sports anyway so like he loved it as well um but she pushed it a lot because she like kind of knew what it was like and like she's just bit like, she's just liberal or like <laughs> so yeah doing sports or being part of a sport how do you think that affects you as like a girl because you're quite feminine like i feel like yeah, yeah. you're quite feminine but you're also um well you're quite strong as well you're, you're like quite strong willed you know you're very like like you say you're very straightforward and stuff about things and you're not you're not like um yes, she is. sometimes when, <laughs> she is. sometimes when girls when people think of girls um, as like feminine girls, you kind of think of them as like dainty mm. and like, you know, passive. yeah, very passive, but you're not like that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like in sport, how does that affect you being just like a girl outside of it? I don't know. I kind of think like the sports that I have done, it's not really male dominated anyways. Mm. So it's kind of like that helps, I guess. I've never really had to feel like I'm competing oh. with men. Like, I mean, I did yeah. football for a bit, but didn't really like it. I kind of just like sports because it just makes me feel like healthier and like mm. I like having a good body <laughs> <laughs> which kind of relates to like oh wanting to look pretty but like yeah. <laughs> which is on the whole of a story. Yeah but, but everyone wants to look yeah. pretty. Yeah. yeah everyone wants true. to be the best. Yeah. Self. It's not just being pretty it's being like confident in yourself. You feel more confident because you're like well I've pushed this body to its limits and yeah. I'm okay so yeah I'm, I'm proud yeah. of what I have. The, the only time like I can think in secondary school where I was like oh my god these are really my friends like yeah you know I felt really mm. happy with my friendship group my girl group mm. was when we did rugby together oh. and rugby is obviously very like male dominated yeah. and it's very like it's all to do with your physical strength mm. the bulk you know and I was doing it with these girls that like would run with their hands out like this <laughs> so, like, it's quite different but it was aggressive um, but it was really fun. It, even though we were girls, we were doing better than the boys. We really were because because we had more to prove. So yeah. we were like, I've, we have to do this well, mm. and I love that. I feel like with sports, it's more of a thing like I want to show. I wanted like to show the boys that I could be as strong as them, which was more of like a personal thing. It's like I just want to prove it. Yeah. Women yeah. of the world, like <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's true. I'm buying yeah. one one yeah. power. <laughs> <laughs> but back to what I was saying about me doing like very female sports like when i go to the gym i still feel uncomfortable but like when i'm doing like i don't know netball it's all women like i can feel completely fine yeah mm. which is really weird mm. yeah 
the gym is strange. Like, I won't use the weights. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. <laughs> because I embarrass myself. Yeah, I only go I with my sister. It. Like, I won't do it on my own. Yeah. Because I feel like if my sister does, she'll protect me. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'll never do it on my own. When you actually talk to a lot of the men that go to the gym that actually feel right, I think it's more just walking to a gym and understanding that they're going to be using a lot of higher weights than you. Yeah. And... You this kind of down. yeah, and the <laughs> misconception of like you're walking in, got a nice pair of leggings on, you've got a nice yeah. top on, yeah. and it's it's a bit like nerve wracking. We should start going to the gym. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's, Let's go, 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 go together. Me and my sister we used to do running, and my sister was like super fast, so we had like girl and boy groups back then. Yeah, but she had to move to the boy groups. So oh, we're, like, that's we're, the like, best feeling. Like, oh, you can't run. You can't. You can't. You can't beat us. Blah, blah, blah. And she would literally beat them every hundred meters. <laughs> the more you introduce like boys and girls together yeah. the um the better it is because you're you're learning to live together you're learning to like have a competitiveness that's fun and not like doesn't freak you out too much like you know i run i do athletics and um it's funny because most of our group of girls just by accident i mean there's a lot of hurdlers female hurdlers um and there's like i guess there's starting to grow now there's maybe four or five boys and they're the best in the group like they're the fastest but there are a few girls now um really fast girl she's amazing um our age who's being the boys and oh my god sometimes they are not happy about it like (laughs) a few months ago so my friend she she did like a a training session with them and then after the training session she beat them you could tell on their faces they were really like upset because they it felt like they'd 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 lost something and the next week coming back um, my coach said, like, oh, are you ready to, to run with the girls? Um, and um, one of them said, oh, I'm not going to get beaten by a girl again. And it was just like, oh, mm, well, maybe it's good. Maybe it's a good thing. Yeah. Maybe it makes you work harder. It took, a bit, it took a bit of time. Yeah. But now the guy that said that, he comes over to us and he's trying to hang out with us now. It's like, <laughs> he's, he's, like, trying to be, like, almost introduced back into the group. And yeah. It, it, there's a lot of love now there's a lot yeah. of like it really feels like we're a big team rather than it being the boys at the front the girls at the back because the girls yeah. have reached that level it's mm-hmm. almost like the boys are like oh okay they're actually they can actually run they're actually <laughs> quite good yeah. and i think that's fair for the boys as well to push them because it's really just put in their comfort zone and they're not going to get better. Shall we ask you a question, Jackie? I feel like it's really... Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is about women. No, but this is about you though. Fran did say we should get a male input. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a, a lot of us have had very female, like, led friendships. Do you, do you see a difference in your, like, female friendships to your male friendships? Do you find it more difficult to talk to girls? Definitely some differences between <laughs> female friends and male friends. Maybe, like, it takes more time to get comfortable. Because, you know, it's sort of, like, less... Is that around a girl? I, 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 maybe, yeah. I think so. It's easier for me to feel comfortable with a girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Why do you think quicker. that is? I don't know. I just feel yeah. like... Why is that, Shannon? I feel <laughs> like... Like, even when we first met, like, in Spanish, like, we met for the first time and we just, like, like hit it off. Yeah. But I feel like that could be anyone. That's yeah. true, yeah. Like, but I don't it know. Really I just, I just think, felt like I could be more myself. Do you think you're more hesitant with a boy? Yeah. Even if you've got that yeah. like similar personality, because you I'm just want to like, oh, I need to like be tentative. I need to, yeah, I need to like be more aware. Is that through like your past or just through like society or expectations I don't know. I of think guys? It's me. I think it's me. no, because no, it's, it's with everyone. So why? yeah, men are yeah. Yeah. <laughs> When you're talking to a guy and you're getting on really well, sometimes it can feel like. Is this? Is something happening here? <laughs> just even if it's just for a split second, mm. because you, I don't know. I feel like it's just sort of natural, especially at this age. People are getting into relationships. And guys and girls be friends. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Discuss. maybe yeah. the reason why you guys are such good friends is because you were you became friends at prepubescent. Like yeah, yeah. so it wasn't maybe. like the stigma. Around. Really too. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. And oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe that's why. So I feel like it's harder to have, like, now form a relationship with a, a man that is only platonic. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. But then also I feel like I'm, I know, I know I can just be friends with a guy. So I think you can go are you, both ways. Are you scared that the guy might get feelings? I think I've had a lot of situations where it's gone the opposite way because I've built a friendship um, with a guy and the idea that we're just going to be friends. Mm. And... Like, it's through secondary school, there were definitely times where guys would get the wrong idea just because 
Your Partly friends. maybe through me because I was so open to them because I was used to it. Mm. I wasn't like so someone who had like their guards mm. up wouldn't get because into that I situation. think a lot of the time guys do have their guards up and mm. that they're, they're not really necessarily going to talk to guys about their problems. Mm. I think I, I think you're a little bit of an exception, but and I, I've met a lot of guys and you've probably met a lot of guys as well that if they've got a problem they'll go to a girl and they'll talk about it with a girl like their girlfriend their whatever and um yeah when it came to me i was i would like have friendships with a guy and then he'd be like hey hello, hello what's going on and i'd be like whoa i, I just want to be friends i just thought we were like has anyone know, been like oh you're leaving me on like a little bit yeah i've never wanted it to be like that and i i've i tried to be as clear as possible like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want someone to feel like I've let them on but I think yeah maybe because I felt more comfortable around guys but like also it. I think any guy that I've liked I would happily be his friend mm. like True. if he didn't like me back True. I'd happily be his friend yeah it doesn't take long should we oh, just wrap him? Up? yeah oh okay oh is that the end hey, got it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> so you could thanks for coming to our podcast thank yeah. you so much oh, yeah thanks thank I mean you. bye bye, bye. 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 <laughs> Dog. Exposure listens.